The overall goal of this procedure is to determine the DNA methylation status of imprinted genes in endosperm. This is accomplished by first emasculating the female parent. The female parent is then pollinated with pollen of the male parent. Next, the endosperm is dissected out of the cross-pollinated seed. The final step of the procedure is to perform bisulfite sequencing of endosperm DNA. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show the DNA methylation status of the maternal or paternal allele of an imprinted gene through DNA sequencing polymorphism in different ecotypes and bisulfite sequencing. Hi, I'm Dr. Wen Yan Shaw from the Department of Biology at the St. Louis University. Hi, I'm Matthew Ray in the Dr. Zhao lab in the Department of Biology at St. Louis University. I'm Dr. Thaman Pangu from Dr. Zhao's lab. Today, we will show you a procedure for dissecting Arabidopsis endosperm and determine DNA methylation status by bisulfate sequencing. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study gene imprinting regulated by DNA methylation and demethylation. So, let's get started. To begin this procedure, choose two different Arabidopsis ecotypes to serve as female and male parents in order to distinguish the maternal and paternal alleles by using DNA sequence polymorphism. Here, Columbia Zero and Landsberg Erecta are chosen as female and male parents, respectively. Take care to choose young and healthy plants. Emasculate the female parent with the aid of a dissecting microscope. Locate stage 12 flowers and remove any flowers or siliques above and below them by clipping the base of the pedicel with scissors. Sterilize forceps by dipping the base of the tip gently into a beaker of 95% ethanol. This will remove any pollen grains on the forceps and kill the pollen. Gently pry apart the flower buds using forceps and carefully remove four sepals, four petals, and six stamens, leaving the pistil.